Hi all, to Gabrielle. This is part two of our griot. I just got back from work and I felt as though there are some important elements of our dish that I did not cover, meant to, but did not. Anyway, it's been nine hours, exactly nine hours, since my griot was prepared. I did refrigerate it. And look at that, it's still pretty. It still looks crunchy, still looks delicious. By the way, I had one, they were magnificent. I got my oil heating up, so I'm going to refry them. I learned that from New York. There's a little place where my sister usually takes me to get my griot, and they have it pre-cooked. When you, once you order it, they take it, they refry it again to make it hot. I'm going to follow that, see what happens. My grease has to be really hot. In the meantime, I want to cover how to tulip the uh, turkey. But first, I have got to show you guys how beautiful my pickles came out. They were delicious. I took some to work. People were eating them with chips. Everything is still green. My arugula is still green also. And this is yummy, yummy, yummy good. Mm, yummy, yummy. I have to move fast because my oil is heating up. And I kind of like went through the step. I pre-did pre it. I didn't mean to. What you do, I'm using a knife that's not too sharp because I do not want to cut myself in case things get out of hand. As I mentioned, there was casualty. And I'm trying to do this so you can see. This is the gristle part. I am separating it from the meat. I typically lay it down on something. And you have to kind of like get the knife under there. Somewhat. And get it started. It's not the easiest thing to do. Oh shoot. So you can understand why I lost my uh, my butterfly bracelet. As I mentioned, I started with chicken drumsticks. I used to do chicken drumsticks for the kids that I uh, fed when I had my catering business. Then I moved on to drumette tulips. If you look in my library, you will see a number of dishes that I prepared by tuliping the drumstick. So, as I was saying, take the scissors, you insert it under the meat so that you can feel your shears or knife, whatever you're using, rub against the bone. And I made three cuts. Then, you have to take your tulip, tulip uh -huh, and you have to get it down to where you want. Sometimes that does not work and you have to pound it. You hold it like this. I'm wearing gloves today. I mean right now. <laughs> this is the second time you've seen me today. Except I look all beat up. I've been at work for nine hours. I can smell my oil. Take that away while we finish this so you get the idea you can cut it again I already put the scissors in the sink so I don't want to take it out this really was a challenge for me but I got it to do what I wanted at the end because I do want to preserve the skin I do want to preserve the bones and uh, that's Otherwise, it would not be, oh, wrong place. It would not be as real. So now, let me quickly reheat one of these. That should be fast. And then we'll just do the plating. So you can see how beautiful this dish is. I will probably serve it on something like this. And I've decided my griot is so pretty. I will accompany it with my pickles and a 
wine glass. You don't have to do that, but I've decided to. That's the way I want it. I wanted this a little bit hotter. It did kind of put a little glisten on it. But look at that. Okay. So there we there it is ready. And uh, should be delicious whether you serve it cold or you serve it reheated. Thank you for your patience. Let me taste this for you. I already tasted it. It was wonderful. Uh, this is not something that your guests would not appreciate because it's not an easy thing to do. Mm. 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 This is T. Gabrielle. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.